The socio-political group Ohanis in Digbo is pushing for constitutional review and regional government. At the group's summit in Oka and Anambra State, members proposed a 21-point solution to serve as a guide to actualizing a 21st century restructured Nigeria. The solution includes a single term of six years for the president, rotational presidency and five vice presidents each of whom will come from a different geopolitical zone. It also includes the demand for resource control by states and a Merit and Equal Opportunities Commission to replace the Federal Character Commission. But Ohanese is not the only group suing for a change order of governance in the country. Governor Nasia El Rufai of Kaduna State and his counterpart, Syriaca Dixon of Bayasa State, believe the time has come to rejig the polity. Both men took the position at a meeting aimed at building trust and understanding for progress and development. These positions are, however, secondary to a group, the RLY Youth. They say instead of restructuring the country, older elite and power should take the back seat and allow younger Nigerians to drive the economy. Members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria staged another protest in Abuja for the release of their leader, Ibrahim El Zazaki. This time, the peaceful protest was to the head office of the National Human Rights Commission in Abuja. The group submitted a petition to the executive secretary of the commission detailing police violation of their rights. In his response, the commission's boss, Tony Ojuku, promised that the human rights body will look into the matter. The African Development Bank wants governments in the continent to create the right environment for private sector to lead industrial revolution. The bank's latest position follows its decision to invest $35 billion in the next 10 years to support industrialization in Africa. President of the bank, Akin Wumi Adeshino, believes that for the continent to achieve this goal, African countries must develop solutions to agriculture and ensure that the sector can grow to $1 trillion business. Akin Wumi is urging countries to add value to their products in all sectors for rapid industrialization. Health authorities will screen Democratic Republic of Congo players when they arrive in Nigeria ahead of their friendly match against the Super Eagles in Port Harcourt. Minister of Sports Solomon Dalong confirmed this, saying it is necessary to curtail the spread of the deadly Ebola virus recently reported in the Central African country. Dalong disclosed this after briefing President Muhammad Buhari on the nation's preparedness for the friendly march. The minister stressed that the match will not be put off because of the outbreak, but safety measures will be taken. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, says Nigeria and other sub-Saharan countries will grow their economies by an average of 3.4% in 2018 from 2.8% in 2017. IMF's country's senior representative, Amin Marti, believes that two-thirds of countries in Africa would experience the growth on the rare of stronger global growth, higher commodity prices, and improved capital market access. According to Marti, nearly all African countries are seeking to raise revenue to make progress towards their sustainable development goals while preserving fiscal sustainability. She called for prudent fiscal policy to rein in public debt while monetary policy must be geared towards ensuring low inflation.